Chapter 8, Estimation of the Renal Function. Estimation of the renal function forms an important element in the diagnosis of almost every disease of the urinary organs, yet no method of estimating this function can claim to be wholly accurate or all-embracing. Hence, perhaps, the accumulated confusion resulting on the one hand from overenthusiastic praise of some one method and on the other from undue pessimism in regard to all. Any attempt at exhaustive evaluation of all the methods advocated at home and abroad would but add to this confusion. We shall rest satisfied with the description of the methods employed by the majority of American urologists today. To this end, we make two postulates. One, in the first place, the following description refers exclusively to surgical diseases of the kidney. Non-bacterial chronic nephritis does, it is true, frequently complicate the clinical picture of surgical renal disease, infection, retention, tumor, but the tests that most accurately measure the renal function in the latter class of cases are singularly inaccurate in, quote, medical cases. Furthermore, the test of renal function in Bright's disease is at once so complicated in, in its technique and so indefinite in its conclusions that we feel doubly justified in neglecting it. Two, in the second place, in the interest of brevity and lucidity, we must take for granted a comprehension of renal physiology and also omit a description of many of the methods of estimating renal function. Among these methods, many have so definite a value that a brief excuse for this omission is called for. Thus, Ambard's constant, so much lauded by the French, is not used in the United States. It lacks supreme accuracy it requires a relatively complex series of observations. Estimation of the freezing point, whether of blood or urine, has similar defects. The freezing point of any solution, be it noted, measures the number of its molecules, while the specific gravity measures their weight. The nitrogen estimation, when applied to urine, gives no greater accuracy than urea estimation. When applied to blood, it is doubtless more accurate than the freezing point, but its superiority is not fully proven. It should be used to control other tests. Experimental polyuria and oliguria are but practical applications of the lack of adaptability so characteristic of the diseased kidney and upon which we shall have occasion to insist. Indeed, a study of this phenomenon forms a part of many of our observations but nothing is to be gained by formal observance of the details, either of experimental polyuria or of experimental oliguria. Florizin, methylene blue, and many other substances employed for, quote, artificial elimination, end quote, test have all been eclipsed by phenol sulfonephthalene. Intravenous injection of indigo carmine for meatoscopy has a definite value.